So you take Rasta now in your heart, and how does it influence the music that you write? Um, I would say it influences the music a great deal because the lyrics that I get, yeah, you know, I I want it to be something someone can relate to or a group of people can relate to or hear that sound and whew, that's a load off, you know. So uh, the music play a, a, a very big part of the lifestyle. Yes. I, I don't, well, I know you, you can't live the lifestyle and then try to project, you know, something totally different from the lifestyle. You you can, but, but it'll be a mess. Right. You know, so when with the music, I try to project that, that way of life, you know, mm -hmm. through that music and vice versa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I've heard my share of ragai music um, over the years, right. and I've noticed that a lot of it is very political. Yes. But your music doesn't seem to be, like, so much in the political thing. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Yours is more like, come on, let's just yes. kind of all chill right, and right, right. and be easy and it, exactly yeah uh, very well put because that's what it is i, I mean we already have everything is almost political everything is almost political right and viewpoints are viewpoints and facts are facts opinions are opinions but enough of that you, you know let's relax you know kick your shoes off take some time for yourself and, right and that's that's what I, I i want to do you know not to say forget your problems because just relax yourself you i was know? trying to think yeah. there was one song that you did at the reggae festival um and i can't remember the name of it but right. the general gist of the song was i'm um, in my little it's like oh, oh bamboo shack bamboo yeah. shack yeah. exactly yeah. yeah and that that kind of summed it all up to right. me like where right. you're coming from i'm in my bamboo shack don't bother me i'm having a good time if you want to have a everything good time Irie, here with me yes relax. yeah 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 tell me what is irie what is how do you explain that irie. that's just irie is like everything you know, is yes, good everything is good no problems no worries yeah you know everything's fine i'm good irie is that excellent yeah, yeah. All right, we were talking about, um, boy, lots of things. Mm -hmm. The world of reggae music, especially here locally. I'm sure people are familiar with reggae from the internet or from the radio, but as far as a local scene here in Greensboro, yeah. is it very popular? Are there a lot of places that you can perform? Um, a lot of places? Uh, yes and no. Um, some like hams, mm -hmm. some, uh, may, there, there may be other little restaurants that may want to bring in a, a, a show or something, but, um, it, it, it's not as big as I feel it can and should be, you know, for whatever reason, I, I don't know if people, you know, rather not have reggae in their spot or what, you know, right. but, um, it, uh, Greensboro is a nice spot for it because the Carolina it, believe it or not, is a roots town. Okay. It, you know, especially over in Winston, mm -hmm. High Point. It, you know. And what do you mean by a roots town? A roots town, town. Is, is, you have a lot of dread there. Okay. A, a Rasta, yeah. if you will. Okay. You know, that are, that's influenced by the reggae music, you know, and try to get it out there, mm -hmm. you know, in the different venues or what. But um, I, I, I do believe that it can be more. Here? Yes. Right. Yes, yes yeah. Um... Are you aware of people trying to make it better uh, yes. or make it more? I yes. know James yes. with the Ragged Festivals, right, but right. those were, I was sorry that there weren't more people there. Right, right. And I do believe one of the reasons was because of no international act. But okay. the understanding was, let's give the local brothers and sisters the spotlight. Yes. You, you know, which I thought was good. But the, I do believe because there was no international you know, that's why attendance was as low, you know. Uh, do you know, is there any, was there any video of that ever done? Or is there a website for what James is doing? Um, any of that at all? I'm quite sure. Yeah? I'm quite sure. But we don't know what it is. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Right. Because I, I've talked to him and he's like putting things together to where, you know, it can be out there. So okay. So I imagine those proceedings are 
being put together. Well, stay tuned for that because we're going to get that information and uh, see if we can't help that along a little bit ourselves. Now, for you, Ramu, what's going on with you and your music world right now? Well, I, I do have some works coming up. I, I'm trying to do some release by next summer. Okay, so uh, in the studio, so to speak? Yes. Or, uh -huh. Yeah, making sure everything is, you know, sort of all in a row. Sure. You know? uh, still working on lyrics, still working on the music part of it. Uh, work, working with different brothers. Right. With, uh, production. Yes. You know, so uh, that's taking the time because I want it to be just so. Sure. You know, but um, uh, the project we're working on right now is for... Uh, this upcoming summer. Now, do you have a band, or do you always work two tracks? Oh, uh, well, right now, yes. Uh, the yes, Chosen which? Ones. Oh, Chosen Ones. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is your band? Yeah, we're working okay. on uh, the album. Right. You know, and uh, but I guess I still use tracks. Yeah. You know, while we're still getting things, you know, right. dressed up and clean. Yes. But um, uh, the band will be eventually removing the tracks out. And it just, it'll just be bad. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's going to release, hopefully... Uh, by next summer. Next summer. Bands also, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Both? Yes. Oh, very good.